Yo, day game vlog number 20 something, God knows. Um, okay, so we're gonna start off with something different today, which is uh, something I've been advised to do, which is to give yourself credit and give gratitude for a bunch of different things that you did with respect to game. Whether you learned something new, you did something new, whatever it was. So I guess what should we start off with? One, I figured out like a decent parking spot or something. It still cost me a fucking bunch, so 20 bucks or something to park there. But you know, what are you gonna do? Like, you gotta do it. <clears throat> so I did that. Um, I found a good place, which is downtown Toronto anyways, to uh, approach girls. There were like a lot of, there were a lot of good quality girls there today, for no doubt. So that 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 felt really good. Compared to like Hamilton and shit, it was like, in, which has like impossible volume, like no volume whatsoever. Um, this felt really, really good. Um, what else? Um, I don't know how to put this, I guess. I don't know, like, my approach anxiety is next to, next to none or something. You know, the first two, three, even the first one or two or three weren't that hard, to be extremely honest. But they, you know, but you, as soon as you get into flow state and stuff, then it becomes easier. Uh, so, you know, I was doing pretty well. In terms of, how can I give myself good credit here? What are some good things that happen? I had a really good approach uh, with uh, this Asian, Chinese Asian teacher, someone. Uh, it was kind of weird. She was definitely into me and we definitely, you know, we were uh, definitely like we exchanged numbers and all that kind of stuff. So I asked her if she's, uh, if she's feeling spontaneous tonight. She said no. So then I asked her right there uh, for tomorrow day after and she said no. I was like, yo, listen, if you're going to exchange numbers, it's only worth it if you're actually going to meet up and, you know, just uh, grab a drink or something. So do you want to do this? So she's like, yes, but I want to get to know you over text. I'm like, what? I'm standing right here. Ask me. So she's like, no, I want to ask you over text, blah, blah, blah. But one of the other good things that she good things or a good sign was she was fucking crazy allergic to something where I was and she was like literally like her eyes were tearing up the entire time but she still hung out there for me and we chatted for like 10 minutes or something when we exchanged numbers and such so I got that uh, that was a really good approach who knows if that's gonna go anywhere or not so that that kind of made me feel just good in terms of like just being smooth and everything else uh, I had a really good approach with uh, with uh, one white girl a uh, young white girl, but she was 20 or something, and then she asked me my age, I said I was like 30, 34, and she's like, I think you're too old for me, I think this, I don't know if I'm into this. She was definitely into me before that, but then after that she was like, you know what, I think you're too old for me. So I don't know whether to treat that as a shit test or not, because um, a lot of guys treat, treat that as a shit test, and I'm gonna try and figure out what's the best reply back to that. But when, when I hit on older women, and then they, they're like, honey, how old are you? And so the answer to that is either A, I'm, don't worry, I'm legal, uh, it is either don't worry I'm legal there might be handcuffs involved but you're not gonna go to prison I promise you um, or or you know there might be handcuffs involved but I'll, I'll show you a method to like work your way out of it or something like that uh, you know so that so that's a good uh, answer to that shit test uh, for the oh you're too young you're too young for me or the other one you know the other one for them is like you ask them how old they are and they might tell you like give you like an idea of ballpark or something and then you go like oh no I thought that was gonna. I thought this was gonna work out, but I think you're too young for me. So that you know that makes them fucking crack up and uh, laugh really hard as well. So that's the one for when the women say that you're too young for me. I haven't really figured out uh, any good ones yet, but I've had this one happen like at least three or four times, uh, which is like how old how old you are. Now I'm contemplating in my head. Does it even make sense to tell them when I'm 34? I'm 34, right? So should I tell them I'm 34 or should I just like? say that I'm 27 or some shit because who the fuck knows who the fuck cares like why does it even matter and in the long run if me and this person or whoever it is gel really nice or something then I can just always let them know after because who's ever looking at anybody's anything like if a girl's going out with you or something if you're 27 or something she's still you know you're still looking up and you're still having fun nobody's really ever looking at anybody's birth date or something so I don't know, I haven't figured this out yet. Like part of my coaching is like, they're just like, yo, just tell her your age and that's your age. And if that's a limit or something for them, just do it. But then, you know, I also know that there's a lot of people that are like, it's, it's just a shit test, you work around it or you just don't tell them what your age is because it's kind of like pointless anyways. Uh, and it's like a white lie kind of a uh, sort of a thing. Um, so that happened twice today actually, when girls actually said that you're too old for me or something. The other one was like, um, uh, she, the other one, the, the second one also said like, you're too old for me. And I was like, how do you know? I didn't even tell you my, uh, how do you know how old I am? She's like, oh, cause there's white in your beard. So I was like, oh, wisdom is too, uh, what was that? What did I, what did I say? Um, are you intimidated by wisdom? I think, I think I said that, but then her best bus came up and she, and then, you know, we just couldn't talk at that point. So that was something interesting too. So I'm trying to figure, I'm going to figure out the whole, you're too, 
pull for me kind of thing how do, how does that go because uh, you know the that white chick was one she was a 100% enemy 100% um besides that what else i had the good asian girl one that that felt really good the good white girl one that one felt really good there was another asian there was a japanese girl i it is so confusing the japanese girl was 100% it's how do i put this she seemed totally into me we were chatting for at least 10 minutes 15 minutes or something like literally had her hand in my hand for like the infinite handshake you know the chris gelo method of infinite handshake did the whole bicep flex thing you know uh, do you have a license for those guns all that kind of shit a lot of flirting and teasing and all that kind of stuff and then eventually when i was like do you want to grab a drink then she tells me that uh, uh i'm seeing someone or something but then prior to that she told me that you know i broke up with my ex or something so i was like i thought you just said you broke up with your ex she's like that was two months ago so i was like so is this serious or or what is it cuz i'm just i'm not asking us to get married i'm just asking for drinks So then she exchanged numbers, but I have no idea if that's gonna go somewhere. So you know that was kind of weird. I don't know what what's gonna happen there because that girl definitely seemed into me with the amount of time that we were talking, and like you know just that stuff. I think one of the things I'm gonna have to start doing now, almost immediately, is within the first thirty seconds, just ask them, "Are you single or not?" I think I should just start asking them within the first thirty seconds if you're single or not. Ah, uh, that was good. There was another. Uh, so then I went to like this other market, uh, where uh, another market and this. Um, These two Indian girls were standing there. This fucking girl was go- like amazing body, dude. amazing body, like at least eight point five out of ten. Um, and she, and, you know, she was cute. So I, you know, I, I walked right next to them. I was like, I got to be honest, you're fucking gorgeous. So I had to come on over and hit on you. And uh, her friends started la- laughing and cracking up, and she's like, please, please go ahead. Um, so I love it when the girls actually are into it. You know, they wait for them. So me and this girl started chatting. Same thing, dude. Like fucking. infinite handshake and you know I was teasing her she's from india i was teasing her uh flirting with her all that kind of stuff we were playing back and forth but at the end she was like uh you know i'm not looking for anything so then i kind of made the same i don't know if i made the same joke before or not i kind of made the same joke it's like oh shit oh no way because i was thinking we we're going to get married by next week and then you know like figure out the name of our kids by two weeks from now and make sure that one of them gets to MIT and the other one gets to harvard and some shit like that I was making some bullshit jokes up which is part of the shit does too Uh, and then she was like, and then and then you know I was like, listen, I I don't know if you're a serial killer, murderer, or something or not. I just know that you're easy to talk to. And uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, I want to grab a drink. Uh, I'm up to grab a drink if you. Uh, I don't forget what I said, but uh, I'd like to grab a drink and see if we have some chemistry or something together. I'm not looking for anything serious or something. So, but then she once again just still said the same thing. So it's this. What's they kind of say that they're kind of telling you that you're not into you. I think I'm learning to like just. That's one of those things. Is like I think is just like. A lot of girls just aren't going to be available or something, I guess. So she just was telling me that she wasn't into me. So I, you know, I was like, "Fuck it, all right, cool." And then, uh, but she was so fun to talk to. I, I probably enjoyed talking to her one of the most out of the entire evening or something. Um, that was a good fun one. Her friend was awesome too. I like bid her goodbye as well when she when we left. She was really friendly and funny too. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? There were like a bunch of other fucking random ones too, you know, just fucking weird chicks, bro. Weird fucking chicks. Um, you just walked up to them and said something, and and they were just like acting fucking weird. And then there was another one, bro. They were like fucking brutal, brutal. I mean, in the sense they just like ignored me completely, kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. I think I got easily twenty, maybe twenty-five approaches or something. I did it for a long time today. I I went for like two hours ish, maybe something like that, because generally I do like ninety minutes. Probably like two hours or something. Easily got twenty, twenty-five, maybe more approaches. Only got like three numbers. Who knows if that converts to anything? No idea. Um, but I had a bunch of really interesting conversations with a lot of people or something. And I just, you know, and then I, I started asking them right off the bat, pretty much like, "Are you single or not?" Like again, like a lot of really good conversations. I cut them short myself because the women just said that, "Hey, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm, you know, I'm married. Or I'm sorry. I'm with someone or some shit like that." So I was like, "Fuck it!" There's literally, she's not sexually available. Just fuck it. Just there's no point in talking to her. Um, because that's again, that's something I'm learning from the other coaching program. Is like, just talk to more girls. Just talk to more girls and shit. Like, don't worry about who's with who or anything of that sort. So that was that. What else? Yeah. Another really. So there was one really, the like legit one of the hottest girls there was today. Was um, there were two girls. They were both kind of hot. Like one of them had a fake ass, like a proper fake ass. You know, like. going out like a balloon or some shit but you know it's like one of those like 
adventures, things that you want to dab, dab at once in your life or something. But her friend looked way cuter though, uh, and she was taller too, so I was like, oh, I think you're gorgeous. But then uh, she was like, oh my god, thank you. But then she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I already have a man. I'm like, fuck it, right? So there were, there were like, you know, that was pretty good. I mean, this, I'm just trying to think about in terms of giving myself giving myself credit and gratitude. Dude, I got my food in. I did the orange chicken shake today in the morning. I already posted a video about that. Did the orange chicken shake. I did the, uh, I did the cornflake shake. I smashed that really quick. And that was, that was pretty impressive. I smashed like a thousand calories in like 15 minutes. Probably less, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and without too much like burden on my stomach or something. I did the morning thousand calorie shake as well. That was good. I did 300 calories or 350 calories worth of carbs in the gym. You know, like, um, uh, glucose or something that was good I'm gonna go home and eat like a burrito at this point which is probably gonna be like probably around a thousand ish calories or something that's gonna put me at 3400 and then from there I'm gonna have like two slices of cake or something like that to uh, round it up to like 3800 which I'm gonna eat at this point so that was good um, yeah the orange chicken shake has made has shown me that I can actually manage to get in like another not a thousand calories but like I can actually manage to get like my protein in in a liquid manner so that was yeah, that was like an eye opener. That was something really interesting today because uh, it saved me so much more time in terms of eating food. It's fucking unbelievable. And the and the food got pre digested and all that shit as well. So you know, because it's like broken down into like liquid and chunks. So there's no more more di digestion or something else required besides the one straight in your stomach or something. So that was something good. That was a gratitude thing, I guess I could put in. Like you know, I I would learn to make bulking even easier or something comparatively. I'm just trying to think what else did i do i learned a bunch more about like again about this stuff about giving myself credit and stuff that was really good i spoke to, oh this is really good i spoke to i'm gonna have this guy on for a podcast there's a guy who has spent another guy besides myself who spent about 20 to 25 probably much more probably probably 30 here or something in terms of all picking probably more to be honest in terms of pickup and indian guy indian guy six feet five who spent about 30k or something like that in terms of uh pick up and, and you know getting his he's into like hardcore into self-improvement and stuff too so he has spent a bunch of money on pickup and getting good with girls and all that kind of stuff this guy has done four to five thousand approaches or something he's done approaches every single day for like a year and a half straight uh, uh i think he's had like four to five hours every every day or something he has uh he's been on the apps the online dating apps for like a year well forever i guess two three years or something but for like a year and a half with like no matches or something whatsoever and he still kept changing the profiles and kept changing this and kept changing pictures and spent thousands and thousands of dollars on photo shoots and this and that and like and then initially like zero matches then he was getting matches with like only ugly girls through certain profiles then he went and like reset everything else and then he uh then he started getting matches through uh, to good girls he showed me some of the pictures of the of the cute girls that he might match with or something so that this dude has like resilience man uh, so that was a really interesting um, That's gonna be a really interesting podcast. I'm gonna have that guy on, up because he's another Indian guy That's actually making the effort putting in the fucking money putting in the investment and like he's now He's now seen the games dude four to five thousand approaches after and like uh, uh, Fucking so much money into pick up and all that kind of shit and after like he's finally making results and getting results i was really happy to hear that he was finally making results because once you have these parts of your life sorted pretty much i don't know how old he is i think he's much younger than i am i'm not sure though but once you have these parts of your life sorted or something then then to be extremely honest the world is your oyster nothing holds you back nothing scares you anymore there's nothing for you to quote unquote i want to do this on my bucket list or something so everything you're doing is like something that you want to do right now you're not sacrificing anything else to do this thing right now so you're like always present in the moment and enjoying that thing at that point in time but yeah um so yeah got a good lot of got a lot of good approaches in um let's see if an instant day turns out or not but i did really well there did it really well in terms of conversations and stuff i've become way smoother way better everything else um yeah waking up earlier and everything else i'm fucking jacked right now i'm you know i'm doing really well in the gym my injuries and stuff are recovering yeah man just i'm trying my best to like try and make anything even more significant or important or something i don't think there is anything i'm gonna get better at the whole gratitude thing anyways but the point is to give myself credit every single day for everything that i do that's it i don't want to make it any longer than this i uh, hope you enjoyed this and i should see you all next time peace